Okay, so I'm just going to try to explain this a little bit about how these relays like to go bad. Uh, I had a video that I shot, but I can't find the audio of it, so I'm just going to kind of go through it here a little bit. Uh, once we can get inside of it here, you can see this one actually was broken in three pieces. Usually they break in two. I'll try to go back and find it. Okay, so this one actually, it still had the arm somewhat attached. Um, right here, this this piece right here is supposed to be attached right here. And this is where they almost always like to break. And when they break here, generally, this piece here is also broken. This piece actually goes on the front of this. And usually this piece does not break. It stays there, and this is the contact that switches back and forth between uh, 87 and 87A. And where this is where 30 comes through and sends the power. So a lot of times what happens is, since this piece doesn't break, it just breaks here. This piece will actually keep switching because it's magnetized from the coil. It stays in position enough because it's held in by the case so that it can keep switching back and forth, but your supply feed has nowhere to go because it's broken at this you know, bend where the arm is connected. Now, let me see if I can find some better pictures here of it. If we can just watch the whole thing here. So the, this, this should be connected. And this is where it switches back and forth between the contacts. So you can see it's kind of a tight fit back here. So it's easy for this arm, where this is connected right here, it's easy for this piece to stay okay and stay hung here, but broken here. Right, let's see. That's how it's supposed to go together. So it should look like this with that little broken tip that's under my hand here. It should be right here. And when the relay is working, it will switch back and forth. So like I said, since it breaks here, a lot of times it stays stuck right here. So it will keep switching. In this case, it was actually broken in, in three pieces, so it wasn't able to switch any longer. But that's where I say... Uh, in the post that I had made, that's where I say sometimes you can still hear it clicking, but there's still no supply coming through. And I would say almost all the failures is right here at this bend because that's, you know, that's just a high use area. It's constantly being switched back and forth. Um, I think this relay is a good relay. See, this one is good. So this one looks like what it's supposed to look like. And you can see the bend here. And this is the, the weak spot. It's the one that's taking all the, you know, the motions of it switching back and forth. There's very little movement for the switching. I don't know what else I really need to say. I think that's about it.